The last meeting between the Dolphins and New England Patriots ended with an impressive Miami victory thanks for a memorable afternoon for the running back. It was a breakout game for then-rookie Salvan Ahmed, who gained 122 of the team's 250 rushing yards in a tribute to his then-ailing grandmother. It was cool, but I think it's a team effort, Ahmed recalled Thursday. That builds confidence in the team. What we were able to do, the offensive line was able to do great things, Tua Tungavailoa was able to do great thing, the receivers were able to do great things. It was just a team effort. I think having games like that builds the team up for sure. Ahmed revealed that he was able to hand over the game ball this offseason to his grandmother, who is doing well and kicking, and scheduled to attend some games at Hard Rock Stadium this season. Inside Info Overrated Defensive lineman Adam Butler provided an interesting take on the whole notion of being able to provide intel on an opponent because of your ties to that team. Of course, Butler is among the many former Patriots players on the Dolphins, having joined Miami as an unrestricted free agent this offseason. But while Butler figures to be a valuable addition to the defense because of his pass rushing ability, forget about the idea he'll provide extra help this week because of his recent past with the Pats. There's nothing I can tell you about this team other than I know that they are tough from the guys that I know that are still there, Butler said. They're a tough team. All in all, they're a new team. If I were to tell them anything, it could be wrong. No information is better than disinformation. That's how I look at it. Safe from the storm. New Dolphins tight end Seathan Carter revealed Thursday that he grew up in New Orleans, which just had to deal with Hurricane Ida. Carter reported that his parents evacuated New Orleans ahead of the storm and stayed with him in South Florida during that time. My parents just went back home, Carter said. The electricity just got turned back on. They're all fine. Injury update. The Dolphins' injury report Thursday was exactly the same as it was the previous day, but there were some interesting developments with the Patriots. They involved wide receiver Nelson Aguilar and cornerback Jalen Mills, two projected starters who went from being limited in practice to not working Thursday. As for the Dolphins, rookie offensive lineman Liam Eichenberg, thigh, and wide receiver Preston Williams, foot, once again were limited and five other players were full participants for a second consecutive day, running back Salvan Ahmed, back, safety Clayton Fijidelm, shoulder, wide receiver Devontae Parker, shoulder, linebacker Alandon Roberts, knee, and wide receiver Albert Wilson, quad.